All right. <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for this opportunity that he's given me, the many blessings that he's placed on my life. And, you know, I, I know my profession is coaching, but uh, my calling and my passion is ministry. And I love being able to spend time around these young men and, and just help them to grow, to grow and become great husbands who are going to be great fathers and leaders in their community. And man, it's just so much fun to do it through the game of basketball. And so this is the best time of year for college basketball and to, to be able to be a part of this and to get a win, you know, and we, we never are never going to take for granted winning. Right. It's just it's so hard to do. And as you look across the tournament, you see the upsets. And um, and so we're just super thankful that we get to be together for another day and they get to hear me yell at them. <laughs> okay, questions, please raise your hand. Let's get the handheld mics to you. Let us know who you are, who you're with. And um, if you're addressing a student athlete, please address it directly to them. First question, back of the room, on the aisle. Uh, coach first, um, and then the players. Uh, SWX Austin Parr from SWX Montana. Uh, you guys dominated the paint matchup 48-30. Was there something that you saw early on in the game that allowed you to take advantage of that, or, or how did you take advantage of the inside the paint matchup? Um, you know, we, we've been a, a paint point team all year long. It's just something that's an emphasis for us. And um, whether we get there by the dribble or the pass, um, it's just something that, that's a point of emphasis for us. Marquise? Um, I want to give all the honor and glory to the man above uh, for giving me this opportunity, this platform to showcase my skills and my talents. Um, but like Coach said, um, uh, it's a big emphasis on getting to the to the paint because um, when you get to the paint, it draws so much attention. I um, mean, we have dynamic players, dynamic guards that could get to the paint and create for each other. And you just seen it today. I mean, we when we play together and for each other, um, we are a really good team. Daquan, uh, today, I mean, that's that's much uh, point emphasis on our games. Pretty much, uh, you know, getting paint touches and. Uh, that's just a better offense for us. Uh, Keontae? Um, basically what they're saying, I feel like we just do a great job of just trying to attack and then when a lot of the teams put two on the ball, we kick out and then get an open three. So I feel like that's just part of our game style that we like to play. Middle of the room right in front of me. Riley Davis with the field of 68. Uh, coach, congrats on your first tournament win as a head coach. And just got to ask, uh, what lessons did you take from being an assistant coach in the tourney to now being the head man? Um, well, first of all, that, that winning is hard. And the hardest game to win is that first one. You know, not that anyone gets easier, but it just doesn't get any harder as far as how many days you have to prepare for it. And uh, as you saw, Montana State did a great job uh, of preparing. They, they caused us problems. Uh, what they did defensively and denying keys to ball and, and some different things. So, you know, that's just, uh, but the other thing is that you can't look at the whole bracket. You know, we just look at one game and we forget about everybody else. And, and you know, I've been a part of um, two consecutive years where we were the higher seed and lost one on the buzzer beater and another one that Yale uh, pretty much took it to us. And um, so the seeding doesn't matter. In, in college basketball, it's, it's about that 40 minutes. And because the ball uh, doesn't know seed numbers, it just knows hoopers. And you got to go get it. Fourth throw in the aisle. D. Scott Fritch and K-State Athletics. Um, for each of the players, I just want to know, it's a step-by-step -step process. Your first NCAA tournament, now your first NCAA tournament win. What are the emotions of this moment? Go right to left. Keontae? Um, I mean, it's big. I mean, a lot of us on the team haven't made it to the tournament, so we always pre just enjoy the moment, and we're just trying to go out there and have fun. For us to get the wins, it just show how well connected we was together and how much we love each other today. Naquan? Uh, today, you know, we just try to take everything at a time, go 1-0, and know, so we don't you know, focus on the other games, but the games that we play, same day, so that's just what we try to do. Marquis? Um, today was a blessing. I mean, we all had fun out there. Um, it was a joy to, to be a part of that. Um, but winning is even better um, when you get to do that. And, you know, give credit to my teammates. You know, everybody contributed from the starters to the bench. 
Um, we had big time minutes from David, Taiki, Cam. So, you know, the people that's not up here also contributed and, and played well today. So we gotta gotta show them some love too. Middle of the room. Uh, Alec Bussey, Rivals, Naquan, everyone kind of knows your story of not playing organized basketball on a team level until you got to college. To be able to put on a performance like you did in your first national event like this, what's that kind of mean to you to be able to fight through some early foul trouble like you did and have the second half that you did to help push your team to a victory? Uh, I want to just thank my teammates. I mean, like They try to keep me level-headed and they try to keep my head up because when I get in foul trouble, I get down on myself. And so like they just try to like, you know, like second half is going to be your half. You want to play smart, try to stay out of foul trouble. But this is definitely a dream come true, though. To our right. Uh, Blair Kirkhoff with the Kansas City Star. Marquise, this is for you. I believe you tied a career high in assists. What does that mean to you? And I was going to ask Keontae, um, just talk about Marquise as a playmaker. Marquise. Um, it's a blessing um, to tie my career high. Uh, but I got to give credit to my teammates for getting open um, and finishing the plays. Um, it was just a well-executed ball game and game plan that, you know, the coaching staff came up with and the the players, uh, we executed. So I got to give a lot of credit to my teammates. Keontae. Um, Marquise, he's an excellent point guard to me. Um, he can shoot, create for himself, and he, he see the court at a high rate. Um, we run on a fast break. He he tell us what he see, and we go out there and do it. He execute it. So, I mean, for have a point guard like that is is a blessing, really. To our left on the aisle, Coach. I uh, know you're basking in this win, but if you could look ahead to um, uh, Kentucky, um, you you saw the first game, and you know there was pretty good home court advantage for them. A lot of fans in the in the stands with them. Uh, what what do you see from them? And uh, talk about this upcoming matchup if you can. Um, you know, I really hadn't thought much about it uh, to ask the guys to focus on one game. That's Montana State, and so that's what I've done. And uh, we'll we'll go back and watch film. Really didn't watch much of the first game. You know, we've this is not wouldn't be my first time playing Kentucky. You know, we we broke their 55 game win streak when I was at Baylor at, at you know at Rupp, and the other two times that we played them on a neutral site, we won. So um, you know, I, I I understand how the cats travel, but you know, our cats travel too. Middle of the room. Parker Cotton with the Bozeman Daily Chronicle. Uh, Coach Tang, you recalled playing against Raekwon Battle uh, two years ago. Um, obviously, he was a big part of MSU's offense today. What did you see in him today that you knew you had to deal with coming in? And were there any shades of what you saw two years ago? Oh, man, he's, he's a – well, I was disappointed that his, he had the braids today. Like, when we played him at Washington, he had the fro, like he had it out, and it was – I mean, he looked like he was like 6'10". And uh, man, he's a big time talent. Uh, I mean, he was making tough shots and that's what big time players do. Uh, you know, I, I thought he was really good at Washington and uh, I mean, he's a high major player and coach has done a great job of um, developing his game and allowing him to be, to play free. And you could just see the confidence does he ha that he has as a player. It's hard to guard. We was trying to limit his touches and uh, he just rose up and made big shots after big shots. Fifth row in front of us. This one's for Marquise. Uh, you hit a three with about eight minutes left, right when Montana State went to that 1-3-1. Looked like you gave a little flex to the crowd. Uh, just curious, did you hear Montana State fans chirping? Like, was there a little, little message you were trying to send? Uh, no, nah, I, didn't, I didn't hear them um, at all. But, you know, it's it just a fun atmosphere, fun, fun environment. You know, I just, that was just my time to, you know, showcase and, you know, flex a little bit. Fourth for a while. These guys, Rich and KSA Athletics. Coach Tang, I'm just curious. What are you proudest of when it comes to this game today? What what, what pleased you the most? Um, well, you know, defensively, you know, the fact that we knew that for them to win, they had to make threes, you know, or shoot twos at a really, really high rate. And I felt like we did a really good job of making it tough on them. Uh, the other thing is that they have, for the season, they made more free throws than their opponents attempted. And so keeping them off the free throw line was important to us, and we did a really good job of that. And then for the most part, we took care of the ball, you know, uh, uh, and, and our positive assist to turnover ratio uh, gave us this opportunity. Back right. Coach Andrew Houghton, Skyline Sports. Montana State opened with the, the two bigs both on the floor, which is a look that they've shown a little bit this season, but not that much. 
how much do you feel like that influenced the early game, and, and what was your kind of try to counter to that? Um, you know, we were prepared for either one. Uh, I thought uh, going with the two bigs, uh, it meant that they were going to try and take advantage of what was going on on the inside, you know. Um, but really, like, Raekwon just stepped up and made shots early, and so it wasn't the bigs that, that bothered us. It was him rising up and making really tough shots, so... Um, you know, we face, in a Big 12, we face all kind of stuff. Double, two bigs, four guards. I mean, you face it all. And so, and through the course of the game, their lineup changed. So it wasn't necessarily how the game started that, that really impacted anything. Middle of the room. Coach Tang, Alec Bussey, Rivals. Um, early in the second half, Naquan had a couple buckets. Um, first bucket of the second half, had a couple in your 6-0 run. Can you explain if at halftime that that was a matchup that you guys wanted to exploit? And if so, why? You know, I, I just, I feel when these three guys are on the floor, like, we're hard to guard. And so when Evan Naquan stays out of foul trouble and, you know, is on the floor, he's a mismatch because it doesn't matter what position he's at. He, he's a positionless basketball player, as is Keontae. And so it, it is, you know, we just want him to be aggressive on the offensive end. And he was in the second half because he got to play and, um, Got us 20 minutes, you know, and uh, if, if we can get 30 out of them, then we might be, like, pretty, really good. Okay, thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. <laughs> Take care. Good job. See you.